Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about the module 1 of biology for engineers subject. So, module 1 speaks about biomolecules and their applications. So, all of you might have heard about molecules. The only difference between molecules and the biomolecules is that the biomolecule should be produced by the cells or some living things or it should have some living property like DNA which contains gene which can be carried forward like that okay so today we will see the introduction definition there are a lot of definition for biomolecule so here one of the best definition I can give you here is a biomolecule also called as a biological molecule any of numerous substances that are produced by the cells and living organisms can be called as a biomolecules. There are four major types of the biomolecules, naming carbohydrates, lipids, nucleic acids, okay, and proteins. Nucleic acids, RNA, DNA. So these are the picturization. Uh, lipids, we know that it has got a uh, particular different layers. We call it as a lipid bilayer, hydrophobic, hydrophilic, all those structures discuss later. And then nucleic acids, uh, DNA and RNA. So you know DNA double stand, RNA single stand, all those are stuff. Carbohydrates with carbon, hydrogen and oxygen. And finally proteins, a chain of amino acids. So carbohydrates as discussed earlier, carbohydrates are nothing but they are the organic compounds that play a crucial role in biology okay how they play a crucial role because they serve as important source of energy for living organisms so what they contain they contain carbon hydrogen and oxygen atoms and they can be classified based on their molecular structure and function so we have a formula general formula cnh2o n so classification three classifications monosaccharides disaccharides and polysaccharides so monosaccharides are the simplest form that means only one saccharides will be there so they are soluble in water they act as a primary source of energy example includes glucose fructose or galactose disaccharides you combine two monoxide you will get one disaccharide for example sucrose lactose and maltose they are mostly found in you know sugars and when you they undergo denaturization or broken down you will get monosaccharide because they are made up of monosaccharides see there are two monosaccharides that is glucose and fructose which is in, com in combination they are giving us sucrose which is disaccharide same thing goes for lactose and maltose next polysaccharides so the many mo many monosaccharides or you can call it as a long chain of monosaccharides but they are linked together so here they serve as a storage molecule of the energy for example we have a glycogen in animals starch in plants and also they provide a structural support and uh, no as a cellulose in plant so cellulose you might have seen you might have heard plant contains cellulose for example a simple example you take a coconut when you peel off that coconut this thing the whatever the brown that thing come off that is called as cellulose okay that is very you know mechanically you know it's very strong you can't just break it with your hand right so like that so that's why that's how it gives us structure and support to the plant cells then in addition to their role of energy sources carbides also have got uh, important roles in cellular processes what are cellular processes for example cellular signaling from cell to adjacent cell signaling has to be there in order to do many functions for example contra uh, you know muscle construction muscle relaxation and the whatever the signal we are getting from the brain all those things and also recognition and also in uh, c regulating in gene expression also polysaccharides are being used example you, ha you have got a starch you can see both the structural and line uh, this is a, a structural formula and this is a line structural formula of starch same thing for cellulose and glycogen so overall carbohydrates are essential components for the biological systems and play a crucial role in maintaining the health and as well as survival of living organisms so that was our introduction 
So coming to the industrial applications, there are a lot of applications are there where carbohydrates can be used. For example, food and beverage industry, where they can be used as sweetener, thickeners, and stabilizers. In pharmaceuticals, they can be used to improve the stability of the drug, solubility of the drug, and also to improve the bioavailability of the drugs. What do you mean by bioavailability, solubility, stability? You know, bioavailability in the sense, drug has to retain inside our body so that for a long sort of particular period of time so that the body absorbs for example in small intestine where exactly the drug absorbs it should be there for a long period of time so that it can be served its purpose they are also used as a source of energy in medical nutrition in cosmetics if you come moisturizers shampoos and conditioners contains ca uh, these carbohydrates in biotechnology biodegradable plastics biofuels all are made up of some kind of these polysaccharides they are all other uh, you know what do you say and other renewable ener energy resources also can be the examples of polysaccharides in biotechnology applications in terms of research you know in research can be of anything here carbohydrates are also widely used in research tools in the field of immunology urology and cell biology they are also used they are used as a ligands in protein carbohydrate interactions so here protein carbohydrate interactions will be there and as probes to study the cellular signal pathways also it can be used so nowadays ai ml is coming in so to predict the structural you know alignments and to discover the new drugs and all it can be used so that's it for the carbohydrates okay